Well, it all started with, I would say, September 11th. My dad's a New York City firefighter. My father lost a lot of close friends. I lost a lot of friends' parents, and so it hit really close to home for me. And I was interested with prompting from my father to understand why these type of things would happen and what was going on at an international scale. I decided that I really wanted to study politics and go into foreign affairs and international relations. I was lucky enough to have an internship with the United Nations World Food Program while I was down at the UN, and I worked in their media relations unit. But it really interested me to see what a far reach some of these organizations within the United Nations have. I feel like a lot of times in the United States, the UN gets a bad rap for being useless or too bureaucratic. But to see these organizations like the World Food Program, like UNICEF, make a difference on the ground and to be involved in that process was really something that meant a lot to me because it restored my faith in something that I didn't really even understand until I went down and worked at the UN. Studying the language has helped me understand the culture because it's so deeply rooted in their religion, in Islam, and in every layer of the culture that it's impossible to understand the Middle Eastern culture without understanding the language. Had the Sadiqa T. Delia Bar. That means this is my friend Delia Bar. Now you can in January 2008, I was able to go on a Drew International Seminar to Egypt for three weeks, and on the trip, we stayed in several cities. Our very first day when we got off the plane, I went to the pyramids right away, which was unbelievable. I don't even think I absorbed it. And this is the first picture that I took. You think the pyramids are gonna be in the middle of the desert, but they're really right next to the huge city of Cairo. And people are always excited to hear that Western people are willing to learn their culture because there's been such a closed door on the Middle East for so many years. And they really feel as if there's a big misconception of their culture. So when young people like myself and my friends start to study their culture and their language and become really steeped in it. They're really excited to see us studying it, which is fun. I have come to a couple revelations on why September 11th actually occurred, and it's because there's been such a great misconception between Western culture and the Islamic culture. Now, with studying Arabic and studying the Middle Eastern culture, I think I understand a lot more about where these misconceptions and stereotypes come from. My time at the United Nations made me realize that this is an organization where everyone can come and talk together, and this is a place where diplomats can go and speak. It's a lofty goal, but ho hopefully one day there'll be a greater understanding between the Middle East, Iran, Israel, Palestine, and our own country. Salam fi el shirk al That means peace in the Middle East, so that's what I hope for. <laughs>